Why, hello there, Richard Cackington here. Thank you so much for stopping by, and today we are going to be showcasing a quick guide for how to beat the brand new raid challenge just introduced into Destiny 2 with today's weekly reset. But this raid challenge is actually going to be quite a bit different than previous raid challenges for the last raids in Destiny 2. Firstly, there's actually not going to be a raid challenge bounty to grab at Hawthorne. So you don't need to level up uh, your clan, for example, in order to get that bounty. Rather, it's just going to say when you load up the raid Garden of Salvation, as you can see, it's going to be a little bit of a modifier showcasing that it is active. And then upon its completion, again, because there's no bounty, the reward is going to be given to you in the form of, as you can see, an extra chest that is going to spawn at the end of the encounter. And it's going to reward, firstly, another piece of pinnacle gear, both of the gear pieces I got from these chests were 952, so that's a good thing. And also it's going to be identical to this encounter's loot pool. So in this first encounter, you can only get a bow, a fusion rifle, and legs. And so that secondary chest, it's not gonna give you one of anything. It's gonna give you one of something in this specific encounter's loot pool, which is very useful for farming. If you need legs, for example, you need them to be pinnacle, they're lagging behind. This is a week you really want to go and do this challenge to have an extra chance at that pinnacle leg piece. But another very important thing I want to quickly say, this Thursday, pinnacles are being upgraded to offer plus two rewards instead of plus ones. So although learning how to do this encounter is probably a very useful thing, you may want to save doing it until after this Thursday. But regardless, let's get started on how you do this new challenge. Now, I am going to be explaining this as if you are familiar to the basics of this encounter. If you're not, check out my complete raid guide linked above. But the basis of this challenge is to not kill the additional Cyclopses. It's actually a few Cyclopses you specifically can't kill and other ones that you absolutely need to kill for this encounter to progress. So which ones are which? Well, as you can see right off the start, as I move into this second room, I see a singleton Cyclops and I kill it. That is totally okay. If there's a Cyclops by itself, that is the one you need to kill to progress the encounter. And killing that Cyclops is actually going to do something interesting. It's going to spawn two additional Cyclopses in the previous room of this encounter. So I moved forward and I killed that Cyclops. In the room that everything starts, there's going to be two Cyclopses that start to spawn as soon as I killed it. Those two Cyclopses you cannot kill. You have to completely leave them alone and hope that the team in the next room completes their mechanics as quickly as possible so you can get out of there. Now, if you are in that next room, you're gonna clear out the ads, kill the Angelic as quickly as possible, hook up the connection, open the door, and then, as you can see, you're going to stay as the next team kind of moves beyond you. There's going to be another singleton Cyclops in that next room. And you can see we were kind of debating on whether or not you could kill it. We did need to kill it to progress the encounter. And as soon as it was killed, as you can see, it spawned the two Cyclopses in the room behind, which was my room. And what you want to do is if you are stuck in this room with the Cyclopses, and you will be stuck uh, because the boss is still going to be spitting out the Voltaic Overload Sustenance or whatever it is, and you need to be collecting it. So you will have to survive in that room with those two Cyclopses. So mobility is key. You need to be constantly jumping around, constantly moving around. Avoid walls and the ground if you can, because if the Cyclopses miss you, but you're standing right next to a wall and they hit the wall behind you, the splash damage is often large enough to kill you with that shot. So just jump around in the open, move from place to place as quickly as possible, and just hope, again, the front team gets their mechanics done so you can move on and escape that room. So one more time, as you enter each different room, you have to kill the Singleton Cyclopses, 
but then the two Cyclopses that spawn in the previous room, you must leave alone. Now, as you progress forward, eventually you're going to open the final door and there's a ton of Cyclopses. There's absolutely Cyclopses everywhere. Well, it turns out these are actually okay to kill. You can kill as much of them as you want. We killed quite a lot of them, pretty much all of them, and it did not fail the challenge. So don't think you have to run this gauntlet with 40 Cyclopses alive. You can absolutely kill them. And then once you get to the very end, as long as you left those two spawning Cyclopses in those previous rooms alone, you will get that second chest and complete the challenge. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.